my life. We gotta get him back on side. Why can't we just sack this crew and get another crew? Maybe if we made this place more attractive. I used to date this guy who was really big in Apple. Apple? Was he a maggot? <laughs> maggot. Grow up, Anthony. And I'm sure if I ask Daddy... D Daddy? Doesn't even know you're here. Daddy thinks you're on an art appreciation course in Venice. Well, you come up with an idea, apart from sacking everyone. All right. How about a team-building exercise? Marcus went on with his firm. They went paintballing. <laughs> and then they went on a massive pub crawl. All got bladdered and finished up in a strip club. We do that, and this lot will think it's Christmas. Let's get a move on. The manager's been delayed. Sorry, I can't thank you enough. Now, the boss isn't sure what he's looking for in this cabaret spot. You reckon she's good? Oh, I've been her agent for 20 odd years, so yeah. She is simply the best. Well, I heard she was the best, but she got sacked from the cruise ships because she drinks too much and was getting fat. I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille. Wow. You promised, Dad. <laughs> you said this time it'd be different. You said you'd lay off the booze until he got better. I just needed a toddy for my chest. Just the one, was it? I'm sure you're not supposed to mix alcohol with your pills. I don't want them. Oh, Dad. I feel sick. I, I get pins and needles. Well, the side effects are better than you coughing your guts up all the time, and it's the whiskey that makes things oh, worse. Oh, alone. What am I doing here? Oh, sit down, Dad. Stay. Get, get off me. Stuff your pills. You can't push me around like one of the nurses. You've been talking about me behind my back. Your mother would be ashamed. You don't mean that. You don't know what you're saying. Oh, I wish I'd never come here. I've never felt welcome. Dad. You just want to get your hands on the money. Yeah. We talk, you know, me and my pals. You listen to a bunch of drunks and tramps. Watch your mouth. They're only your mates when you've got a bottle. Mum could see you now. You leave your mother out of this. Page, Step forward, looking at the camera. Radley's from the gym, he's a physical therapist, you know. Thank you. How is he? I'm fine. Well, he needs a couple of stitches. And yeah, should have an x-ray. Just be safe. You can stay here. No, I'm fine to go home. You got to stop this. Putting yourself in danger. Well, the signs were there. The weather patterns, the blight in England, but he didn't listen, and so he put all his money into wheat after I'd warned him not to. He lost every franc. You must be very proud of him, Madame Pragada. I tried to tell him. The fur trade in New France is exploding. Shipping, that's where the real money is. Madam Fergana, would you kindly pass the potato? A woman should never spend more than the allowance her husband gives. Valentine saves most of her allowance, don't you, dear? No, actually. I spent it on those new practice plays last week. Mmm, so you like to cook? Cooking? Not exactly. May I? What? <laughs> Potato. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Flopsy, Tortus Maximus, you may well ask, why should I vote Lorenzo Ferrago as the new Grand Master? To which I say, the vote for me. It's a vote for a born leader. A vote for me is a vote for change. Most of all, I will ensure that the name of a skull is a name to be feared. <laughs>